I mean, sometimes that's the silver lining, you know, when you, when you have injuries early. Uh, we've been battle-tested in that in that area. Guys have had to step up and play different roles, different positions all, all season, uh, almost, especially for the past month since December. So um, we have experience in that in that field. I think it showed tonight. After that 12-point third quarter you guys had, start the fourth quarter, you're not out there. What And with the injuries, the unit has probably hasn't played that much here. From your perspective, what did you see that kind of got you guys stabilized in the third quarter struggle? Uh, we made it a little tough in this quarter. Um, we got a turnover, a, a long rebound. We see the, you know, went all the way. Um, and he played well, really well the night, played free. And then <coughs> getting that stop to turn it into getting that layup, and turn it into getting another stop, and then turn it into Stanley having a confidence to go down and drill a three. Uh, you know, one of the practices every day, and then we want him to shoot. So, um, I think it's always defensively hard to struggle offensively like that. Like, how, much, how much does it help you guys that the other guys were able to step up? Uh, Bullock had seven straight points. Stanley had a couple of baskets in a row. And without two of your main guys showing some toughness there, that you still able to pull this game out. And you could have just like, hung your heads and let it go. Uh, it was great, man. I mean, that's what you need in games like this. Uh, you know, first night of the back to back. There's all the excuses in the world. And um, <clears throat> to, to our guys' credit, you go in there every day for practice, for games, you see these guys working. Um, maybe not getting consistent minutes, but Stanley, uh, Luke, Glenn, Kyrie, Bruce, Ish, all these guys that work hard every day. And, um, you know, in moments like that, it's when your preparation takes over, and that's what happens.